what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my platinum trophy guide for call of duty black ops 6 i know a lot of you guys have been asking for it and waiting for it so now here it is i am going to be i am almost ready to upload my complete walkthrough for the campaign for call of duty black ops 6 which is what i'm going to do here i'm going to break this particular walkthrough down into parts per chapter like every part will be one chapter of the campaign and show you all the cutscenes and everything else and also any challenges or anything that we have to do i am going to be doing this on veteran difficulty but as you guys know i have a drifting controller so there might be some checkpoint restarts where and other things which i will have to fix and edit but I will of course make sure that I show you everything and get everything for you in our playthrough so that we can by the end of this campaign unlock dipped in gold. Dipped in gold is the one for unlocking all upgrades in the safe house. For that we need like around 15,000 gold which is a little tough to come by. Like around 9,000 we will get through the safes because there are around 9 safes. So 9,000 is confirmed, the rest it depends. So also after this, the first mission will be going to the safe house. So I will try to unlock all the safe house code and the safe house puzzles for you as well. And apart from that, yeah, let's just get on with it and see how it works out for us. I'm going to be playing this on veteran because that is required for a trophy. And I'm going to shut up during the cutscenes. Mr. Gorbachev, open the an entire class of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. It means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. We will stay the course and we will succeed. Are you denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? Oh, what's in a wheelchair? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team. Me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No. Not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry's paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam.
wants the Lowey alive. Noted. But uh, straight to the exit of Yes, yes. Do not get sort of five minutes. Alawi is a minister of defense and close to the dome. His guys will be well trained and heavily armed. Movement, truck door. Got it. Two targets down. More to come. Keep pushing into the smoke. Another one. They'll know we're here soon. Be ready. But they Let's do this. Engaging. Nice. Allow he's in a black truck. Clear the road. Let's try it fast. Copy, black truck. Keep pushing up, Case. Find it out. Don't let up. I'm used to using shim shot from multiplayer. Don't have them here. Negative. Alawi was in the middle of the convoy. Keep pushing up the road. Copy. Okay, somebody move up. I think on veteran it's safe to just let your teammates do the heavy lifting. Move to a position where they start moving up. When they start moving up, we start moving up. Who is shooting at me? Case is at the bridge. Get on the road. Got him. I got it. Stay calm. We're not here to hurt you. CIA? We have the deal? Deal? Not with us. Where you headed? Kolhara, you lie! Your man was getting me out! Man. Who exactly? Hey, Kolhara. Is that us? No, not Iraqi either. Hey, it means go over Kara. We need to leave. You won't stand a chance against them. They haven't spotted us. Let's keep it that way. Come on. Let me get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. Made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you, but not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our ex, Bill. We call in reinforcements of weight. Wait? What the hell with that? Barrage coming. We're headed your way. No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Case, let's start by softening them up. Okay, equipment we Ah, safety. Let's get to work, guys. I saw opening. Okay, got an opening. Uh, hopefully, I can kick these people's butt.
Okay. Hey, hey, someone is shooting at me. Behind the trucks. Look out, Fred. Okay. Where are these guys? Where are these guys? I don't see anyone. I'm just moving on. about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. And they'll could pick us apart. Yeah, I got no cover, boy. Okay, armored up. Hopefully, I can live through this. Come on, reload, reload. Don't drift my controller, don't drift. Please. Who are you shooting at, boy? The guy is right there. We're almost at RPK. Okay, got one checkpoint down. Hopefully, it will drop in my favor. Oh crap tastic. Reload. Hopefully my grenade did something. Did it do anything? I don't think it did anything by the way. And the RPG must be ready with another shot. Okay now I know where it is. Okay, I think the RPG is down. One guy left. I'm all out of ammo now. Let's move up, people. Rally oh, really? Clear? Why the hell did these guys want you so bad, Alawi? Get me out of here and I will tell you everything I know. Damn right you will. Or I'll kill you myself. Okay, this point of fully. Hey, Faraj. Everyone all right? Is this your... No, 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 no! Adler! Stand down! What the? Goddamn Russell Adler, CIA traitor. He been on the run for ten months. Marshal, huh? Woods' his new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane, you just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. Okay. Case, you got the launcher? We'll shoot him down. There, on our 
Back our stage. Oh, one here. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. No visible threats in the airspace. We're clear. Now to face the music on allowing. Good luck with that. Anything else to add? Sir. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. <laughs> Russell Adler. The mole who betrayed us in Panama. The man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? <laughs> Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. Okay, got the first chapter done, I believe. <laughs> Are you admiring your own work? Can't believe you kept it. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know. Take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we got the unexpected move dropping. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason. Okay, so he's a rogue band of operatives now. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left the name we'll follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. 
Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Okay. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to one and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Op details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. Okay, so now that the air is now we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Okay, I think we Let's talk to Woods to upgrade the safe house. Let me see. Can I talk to him? Alright. What kind of life savings you got? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no wonder you're still alive, Case. Always serving up the top sirloin of bullshit. I'm gonna cut to it. We can't do shit with this house, considering our money situation. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team? I'm thinking overhaul, an armory, place to train, air bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free, though. Okay, Marshall found a few grand up. stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, we knew nothing. Oh we man, no, I think someone some already kind of knows about this whole Not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red stepped foot in here since 1968. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I could tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. Okay, acquisition desk and more money. Right, so as we can see on the acquisition desk here, we have around 700 cash and we can upgrade different areas. Each is for 500. And I think then later on we can go there and upgrade the other stuff. But first we are going to solve all the puzzles. First one, come over here, open this gate and head inside to the basement. Here we will be met with the boiler room puzzle. And for the boiler room puzzle we can, we have to do a simple steps for this. This is not too tricky. Just open this file to see what's going on over here. And there's another text you can read over there which says that this spoiler is actually providing power to a different part of this uh, safe house that we I do not have access to right now. But for the boiler, now you can also use a backlight here. So I'm just going to run and get the backlight first before we do anything else. So come over here and right here on the desk is the backlight. You can take it and now you can turn it on with D-pad left and then this backlight will show you some fingerprints and other stuff that has been going on all around the safe house which is going to be really helpful in solving the rest of the puzzles not this one so for this puzzle this one it's very simple come over here and this valve turn it twice okay there's one turn and there's another turn then on the left the fuel button turn it once and then press pilot once now if you have done it right you will hear a ting and you can see that right next to this pilot there is a green light that will lit up. And now all you need to do is turn this valve twice again. So there is one and there is two. And that is this sound you know where the machine will ting a couple of times. 
this is what you need to be doing for your boiler room puzzle that means the boiler room is solved the gate it needed to open is opened up now we come over here and look at the piano at the piano if you turn on your backlight you can actually see where all the codes are that you are looking for for or like all the key codes are if you just move your backlight there you see there's number one and there are arrows next to it so just follow these arrows and you can check the other way like see there is number four that is AO I believe this is MN you turn here this is two this is PE then you follow this direction up there and there is three which is CH and again going up over here somewhere is the fourth one yeah the fourth one is here AO and the fifth one is here again PE so you come back to the piano see this is the whole code you can see one two three uh, the one is all right over piano four and then five over here so come over to the piano and now you can see you can move uh, select the keys with the d-pad left or right and with the right analog stick you can move your cursor like uh, your backlight to see which one you have to press so press MN PE CH and then AO and then PE and this will open your door and this will unlock the basement door the entry to the basement uh, like the proper hidden basement and when you come over here this door will be and is the one we unlock with the boiler puzzle so after that we travel inside I'm just looking around to go here where to go and what to do because this is my first time entering this place so I'm just checking if in case there is something I can pick up and here we come over to the keypad puzzle open this text it tells us something about the keypad don't worry about it once you start interact with this the small tutorial will play out so what it does is you have to shine your backlight on these keys and then enter the numbers and input them in the code once you press enter in the code you can check if you have done it right or wrong so here I am going to shine my backlight on these keys I am going to turn it on and you can see that it is, uh, it's on 1, it's on 6, it's on 7, it's on 9 and it's on 3 I believe as well up there so first code I am going to try is 111 5 times because I think it's on 1 the strongest but unfortunately it's not going to work out that for me and it's just 1 in 1 position so the green means that is the correct position for this number so after this I am going to try number 6 because that is the another one which was the brightest and 6 will actually work out for me much better than expected I think I will get 2 places or 3 places for 6 I know 1 is there in the correct position so there you go I have 3 digits correct now now there are just 2 more digits for me to work on and there is 7, 9 and I believe 3 uh, 3 is the weakest so I decide to go with 7 and 9 so here you see I actually went with just 9 I believe for this one because I know the 6 position is correct oh yeah I went with 3 and I see that 9 is the right number but it's in the wrong position because it is yellow so you can see that 9 is right so the place where I put 3 then 9 will go and then the next place left that is for 7 so now I think I'm gonna get my complete code which is 71696 yeah 71696 and this is going to open this door first so there you see it this number is totally randomized for everyone it will be randomized for you as well so when you shine your backlight on it just make sure to check uh, thoroughly like where this backlight goes and what it does like which one is shining the most so come over here now we are going to do the computer puzzle the computer puzzle actually very easy there are just four words that you have to worry about uh, like that you have to input they are open room holding and bunker and their order can be randomized but it will always be the same four words for me i went with uh, like you can see this uh, dash these digits this come there will be a dash where you have to enter the word and it will be you will you can guess by the number of characters you need to open so here I am going to enter open because it is 4 digits so I am going to go with open and the one next one will be a bit longer so that will be holding I believe and a bit shorter than that will be bunker and then room so this one worked out perfectly for me in the first try but for you it might be a bit randomized so see open worked now it is more digits so this is definitely holding so I am going to put holding here this is me you will see me moving the cursing around that is me just counting the number of digits 
but now I'm just going to press holding then uh, the next one is going to be bunker and then the next one is going to be room for you the order can be randomized but it will always be the same words open room holding and bunker that is all you need to worry about here people. I really hope this helps you guys out um, I did not want to do just a video guide without any voice or add some text or anything I wanted to properly explain so you know while I am doing this I can actually tell you what can go wrong what cannot go wrong so this is something which can be randomized a bit but that's it that's all you need to worry about now with this puzzle done we can move on ahead from here and we come over here here i'm going in the wrong direction i'm going to the radio signal i do not have the key for this one yet i have to pick the key for it so i'm gonna turn around and go the other way this door has just opened up and then the door next to it this one as you can see because we did the computer puzzle this door opened up over here we take a text which says this guy swallowed the key so you have to get it out of him any which way we can this simple lockpick puzzle just rotate your right analog stick till the you know lock picks at one spot and then rotate it again for the next one so here you see it will start vibrating and this is one done then again you have to find the sweet spot for the second and the sweet spot for the third this is simple this is nothing that i think you have to worry about at all so that's it lock open and now the key will come i mean we can grab the key key is not going to come to us that's silly of me but yeah here you can grab the key i am just running around in this dark room I don't know. I had my, I had some hopes of that I will find some cash here, but don't suppose I'm going to, right? So with that said, now we can actually go to the room where we saw that radio signal come from, and there we have to tune the radio. Now this radio puzzle actually is uh, very, very, very randomized. Then there are a lot of objects in this room, and you shine your backlight on them. If you shine your backlight on this stuff, you can see a lot of numbers on them. You have to listen very carefully to the message that is being played and check for the objects that are being t uh, that the guy is talking about in that message. There will be four objects he'll be talking about and the order he's going to talk about will be the order of the digits you need. If you can find two uh, digits like in the right order correctly, here I'm just going to tune the radio. Uh, it's going to show a small tutorial for you how to tune the radio. It's very simple. Just move the right hand lock stick and the left hand lock stick in the in different directions till you can match the frequency which is playing behind. We have done this pretty much uh, plenty of times. I have done. I remember doing this in Resident Evil as well, and I think we have done this in previous Call of Duty games as well. So you see, we are going to play the message. Listen to your message clearly. It's going to be. It is randomized, so it's not going to be the same message for you. So just make sure to listen to all the objects he's talking about. Now this Alvin switched off the lamp by the broom closet is 1 and the TV is 3 and the broom is 8 okay so 1, 8, TV is 3 and then this is 6 the lamp is 1, broom is 8 whatever object it is saying you have to get the number for this 1, 8, 3 and 6 I believe 1 and 3, 6 is my code so this is what I am going to go and try on my safe and for the safe you have to come all the way up here oh sorry you have to come all the way up here go through here on the right and then go up the stairs go all the way up come over here come over here and then come over here and take this room to the right and now i'm going to go unlock it i'm going to press one eight three and and it opened the safe for me and there is your puzzles mason trophy people and we can pick up thousand cash and we got cash cracker unlocked so with that i am going to go and upgrade my safe house a bit and that will be the end of this part of the stream i really hope you guys enjoyed it please please do remember to like share and subscribe do share your feedback in the comment section as well in the next part, I am going to be coming to you with the next chapter. And as always, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, please stay safe, stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games, people. Please be sure to share this among your friends as well. I hope I am helping you guys out. So first, I am going to get a weapons bench. Yeah, upgrading the safe house, man.
Let's see, gear station. No different team's equipment. Uh, I say gear station is better. Okay, kitchen is upgraded to gear station now. Check the gear station. Let me check the weapons bench in the gear station. This is where the weapons bench is. Let's talk to him. What's going on, man? Hey, are you kidding me? Nine years out, and I'm still writing checks to Temple. Tell him to take. Yeah, that's all I have. You got it. Where is it? Oh yeah, this is my weapon spot. Extra mag, carry one additional magazine. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, no. We can't fight. I think I'm good for now. Oh! We got 3000 cash. I am not unlocking them right now. I am going to unlock the other station as well. Because now I have 500 left and let's unlock the training area by now. So we got all the money for all the areas that we needed to unlock. And this will be it folks. As you guys can see, you can, as we will keep playing, we will keep upgrading stuff here and keep showing you all that as well. And you know, hope to help you out with some more weapons and collectibles and everything else in the game. So yeah. That's it. Now the only thing left for me to do is to check out those areas and use the evidence board to start my next mission. Next one is going to be a covert mission but I'm going to be coming back with that for you in the later part. So as I said this will be one part per chapter. First chapter we did all the puzzles and everything. I've shown you everything. I will show it to you again if you guys need it. You guys can always come to me for help and you know share your feedback in the comment section if you need help with something or if you find found a particular part of the game troublesome on veteran or anything but i don't find it so easy call of duty just takes a little bit trial and error on veteran that's it and since we'll be upgrading everything quickly i think we will be good so that's it once again thank you so very much for tuning in please please do remember to like share and subscribe share this video with your friends people and spread the word and as always wherever you are what you're doing Please stay safe, stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games. This is your friend Galactus signing off.